Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another video. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Aries and the year 2021. So, for all my Aries out there, what should you be expecting for this new year? What's coming in? What's leaving? Let's get into it. I'm going to use a few different decks and let's just dive right in. And I'll start the read. So for all my Aries out there, what does the year 2021 look like for you? We have the Hierophant. A lot of you are focusing on your spirituality. A lot of you are focusing on spiritual growth, knowledge, growing your practice, um, learning. A lot of you may be going back to school or learning something new. Definitely there's wisdom, knowledge involved. Um, reading, researching is involved a lot in 2021 for you guys, Aries. We have the wheel. Things are going to be changing, definitely. There's movement, there's growth. And for a lot of you, I see a lot of opportunity. Um, the fish in the background represent opportunities coming in. I also see a shift in your emotions. There's a lot of mental and emotional shifts happening to where I feel like it's just, it's more sturdy, it's more strong. Your mental state is more strong. We have the Four of Pentacles. A lot of you are going to be kind of sitting back and enjoying your home life. Like you guys will still be working on your home, your domestic life. Um, yeah, but uh, you're putting the seeds in when it comes to your house and your home, but you're also enjoying the hell out of it. Like. The whole 2021, you're just, you're really going to be enjoying your stability and enjoying your, just feeling like you're financially stable, feeling like um, you're okay, like you're safe, you know, <clears throat> that you have solid ground beneath your feet. But at the same time, it's like, you don't mind. In 2021, it's like, you don't... <clears throat> maybe a lot of you this has been stressing you out a lot is your home life your domestic life and something changes within your mind and in 2021 it's like whether you're you have a stable foundation or not you're like you you're a free spirit a lot of you though i do see you um making your foundation very stable your roots your home you know um a lot of you may be buying a house or just really stabilizing your roots but at the same time a lot of you are going to be experiencing a f your free spirit where maybe <clears throat> in the past you were suppressing your own spirit but it seems like in 2021 you're not going to be doing that anymore you've been bored you've been pretty freaking bored and it's driving you crazy it's been driving you crazy and 2021 is not about to do that because the wheel is saying there's things changing and you're you're going to be learning something in 2021 that is actually going to change your entire mentality. I see a lot of books um, near you, around you in 2021. A lot of you may be writing a book maybe thinking about writing a book, maybe just finishing up writing your book. Um, let me grab another deck. <clears throat> okay, so for career, Eight of Pentacles is a very good card to come up. A lot of you, this signifies, um, let me turn my heater off. It is, it's getting hot. <laughs> um, <clears throat> a lot of you are getting raises, promotions, new jobs, fulfillment in your career. So expect to feel fulfillment in your career. Whereas maybe this year, 2020, 
a lot of you were stressed and worried and there was just like so much negativity and it like you just felt like you were surrounded by it you couldn't get away from it and in 2021 it's things are looking up completely differently do you see the phases of the moon i feel like it's a new phase a completely new phase and you are going to be enjoying your work you're going to be fruitful and abundant especially when it comes to your career aries um let's see what else comes up something that was worrying you in 2020 it seems like in 2021 you're sitting back and looking at it like you were just reflecting like dang i was worried about this or like dang i was worried about this and i made it you know you a lot of you aries are just sitting back and reflecting sitting back on your throne sitting back abundant and fulfilled in your career and you're looking back and like like you were here and you're you're thinking about that reflecting on that there's a lot of reflection energy also coming through in 2021 for you Aries may be just like looking back at their life and being like, damn, I went through that or dang, I did that. And just a lot of reflection and getting to know yourself through your reflection of your life in 2021. Yeah, lots of reflection. Aries, traveling. There is travel coming in 2021 for you guys. And a lot of you may be planning where are you gonna travel? Like a lot of you may be in the planning stages of that. A lot of you may be like, you know, when all when Corona and everything is over, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And a lot of you are gonna be um, fulfilling, you know, your plans, um, making new plans, looking out and being like, okay, what do I wanna do? That's kind of what your life is gonna be like in 2021. You're just gonna be like, all right, what do I want to do today? What do I want to do next week? It, you're taking full control over your life. And you're just like, all right, Saturday is coming up. What do I want to do? And you're planning, planning it out according to what you want to do. Like you're living your life very authentically true to yourself in 2021. And a lot of you are healing a lot of emotional trauma. A lot of chaotic emotional trauma um, you guys are settling and in 2020 it just it feels like the water is finally settling and you're learning how to calm those chaotic waters that sometimes rise up inside you a lot of you that's why the reflection helps um, reflecting journaling like thinking um, questioning things, researching, reading, learning, a lot of things like that are really going to help you in 2021. It's going to uh, raise your vibration. Something that has to do with books and learning and growing, expanding your mind is going to help a lot of you Aries in securing a home. Don't know why that comes through, but I just feel like your career and your home life is going to be very, very abundant. And it's because you learned something or you like, it has to do with books or learning or growing your mind, something like that. Yeah, do you see that? The high priestess come, okay. High priestess is like the female version of the Hierophant. And Hierophant is like the male version of the high priestess. So that's, very powerful Aries you guys are going to be very spiritually powerful like you guys will think something and attract it in 2021 it's it's a strong uh, mental year for you a lot of things going on um, mentally for you guys energetic mental upgrades knowledge wisdom secrets of your ancestors secrets that your deities and your spirit guides are going to be telling you there's a lot of spiritual and mental power coming through. All right. Sorry, I'm like back here moving around because um, I just had a soda. So I'm kind of like jittery. 
Okay. Let's look at career. For Aries. These three cards just push themselves out. In your career, Aries, expect miracles, expect the wondrous, expect wishes granted, manifestations in your career, magical blessings in your career that maybe you didn't think you would even get. Um, very good, 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 good energy in your career. There's going to be a change in your career, Aries. There's going to be a change in your career, definitely. And it's going to be something that you like. We also have here finding sanctuary, opening opening to your spiritual source. Do you guys see that? There's very powerful spirit energy in 2021. What does that mean? It means you're connecting with your spirit guides and your ancestors like a million times more. It means you're opening up to the spiritual realm a lot more, spiritual communication, like ancestral communication, getting signs and symbols and synchronicities a lot more often. Stuff like that. Very divine, magical energy um, is entering your life in 2021 for all of you Aries. Believe in magic, journey by the moonlight. So yeah, again, 2021 looks like it's going to be a magical year for Aries especially. I do want to get into... this deck right here and the reason why is because I want to know what is something that we are letting go of Aries what is something that we're letting go of in 2021 okay I see a few things Aries that you guys are gonna be getting rid of resentments all right, a lot of you have been holding on to resentments and not being able to forgive others and not being able to move forward and not being able to look at the positive side of life. Now that is something that is ending. In this new chapter of 2021, you guys are surrendering a lot of grudges, resentments, you know, stuff like that. Now that stuff takes up a lot of energy and create spiritual blockages. So I do see why that came up. And it is something that you're letting go of. And therefore, your spiritual self is removing the blocks. And that's why the wheels are turning. And that's why, look at the miracles that are coming. Your spiritual source is opening. So there was there was a grudge or a resentment that you guys were holding on to. It was a major block. Frustration. So in 2021, Aries, it just seems like maybe 2020, it just seems like I'm not even going to say maybe this year was stressful for you. A lot of you I see were frustrated. And I see a lot of you, either you were bored or you didn't know what to do with your life. You didn't know where to move forward, how to move forward, what to do next. And in 2021, it, the, the roads are clearing up because mental fog is clearing up. 2021 is a very abundant year for you guys. You're not frustrated. Um, a lot of your blocks are dissolving in 2021 because what do blocks do in our life? They make you frustrated. There's never any block you will ever have that will not frustrate you. And I feel like 2021, a lot of you guys are dissolving these blocks. And the frustration dissolves right along with it. We also have surrender to your intuition. Yeah, a lot of you guys, third eye and crown chakra is opening up, you guys. So tune into your inner voice. A lot of you are listening to your own self, not listening to outside advice. Uh, gut feelings are strong in 2021. Um epiphanies like the spiritual realm guiding you is going to be the strongest force in your life for 2021 wow let me pull a color element card to see what are you going to be drawn to the most or what's going to pop up in your life the most right
purple. That is so crazy. Mental clarity. Purple is the color of the crown chakra, the third eye. This is very mental clarity type of a color. Purple corresponds everything to do with the mind, the third eye. Oh my God, that's so crazy, you guys. The intuition. Look at all the purple in your cards. This is a year of leadership, Aries. Your true Aries nature is coming out. Um, extra strong. Aries are leaders. Aries are strong. Let's see. Let's get an energy of love for Aries for 2021. We have a few messages for love for Aries. All right, we have here, be supportive, make a genuine effort to show that you care. So for you guys especially, I think maybe you have suppressed your feelings for so long and in 2021, you just want to express your feelings. You wanna let it be known and you wanna be supportive to people you care about. You just, you're not afraid to show your feelings in 2021. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. For a lot of you that are in relationships, 2021 is going to be the year that you overcome something in this relationship. Like if you guys are going through something, uh, it's the love that's gonna endure. I, you know, if you know who Jay Shetty is, he always says like something like, it's not you and your partner. It's not you against your partner when you're in a fight. It's your partner and you versus the problem. So I feel like a lot of you, that's the energy where you realize like, what's the end result of this fight? What's the end result of this argument? This, this, And I feel like for a lot of you, this has gone on for like a year, the whole year of 2020. And maybe a lot of your relationships were on the brink of ending for Aries and they're not gonna end. For this, it's not for everybody, but for a lot of you, the relationship is not gonna end. This is a complicated, long, frustrating relationship, but it's not gonna end because it's it's meant to endure. It's meant to endure. <laughs> That's so funny. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. You guys got that twice. What are you holding on to? I do not know. But what I do know is you're gonna heal from it and this resentment in your life has created so many blocks, both in your relationships and yourself and your spirituality. And these are all clearing. So if, if you get, this could be a reconciliation happening in 2021 of either, you know, your, you and your partner or somebody in your family that you haven't talked to for a long time uh, and the last card that came up is practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. Aries, you guys. <laughs> um, Aries is not the best at showing compassion and surrendering resentments and forgiving and being supportive because Aries is stubborn, strong headed, it's fiery, it's masculine, it's strong. It will push down anything it needs to. Like Aries is very strong. And because they are so strong, sometimes it is harder to show those compassionate, loving feelings, the spiritual aspect, because Aries is very masculine. They want proof, they want like, show me, you know, show me why that is, show me how that is. Um, and you're kind of bringing out the more spiritual side of you and calming down that Aries fiery energy that's been so dominant for a lot of you guys. Okay, I'm gonna pull an herb card to see what herbs you may be drawn to for the year. Or may actually, if you ever endured like a challenge or something, then this herb would probably help you when you work with it. And that is eucalyptus. Eucalyptus will help you breathe. That's so funny if you guys have noticed this whole Aries, your whole reading, I've been like out of breath and I feel like um, because you've been working way too hard, just exhausting yourself, burning yourself out. Aries, you guys just go above and beyond and in 2021 you get to breathe. But if at any time you feel like you're getting overwhelmed or you're getting exhausted, I think eucalyptus 
will either pop up in your life somehow, some way, or it would be really beneficial for you to work with eucalyptus and grab yourself some eucalyptus to breathe, to just let go, <laughs> cleanse, protect, all those good things. Um, let me pull one more card for you, Aries, and then we will head out of this reading. 2021 message. So, 2021 Aries, you guys are rediscovering your zeal. A lot of you lost your passion, lost your just zest for life, right? And a lot of you guys are going to be rediscovering that, learning, exploring, um, paying attention to your spirituality, travel. These things came up in your reading. That's so insane. Um, a lot of you, your work or your relationship is going to ignite passion or even both. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. These are energies that are going to be very heavily dominant in your life for the year of 2021. All right, Aries, so that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you really soon. Happy 2021. Bye.